No, I'm, wa I'm watching on Twitch. That's the only way I can see. It's the best way for me to screen capture. I, I don't know how I'd be able to do that on YouTube because I don't think YouTube has a pop-out feature. Oh, here we go. Turn this down just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> we just talked about this. Yeah. Yep. I I'm, you know what? I'm glad they talked about this first. Because now we can be surprised about everything else. Well, who cares about Overwatch? I thought Overwatch was impossible to port. We actually talked about it before. New ways to play, what? Gyro controls? Oh, jeez. Oh, Huh. That's actually interesting. They actually talked about it before, but Overwatch for Switch, and the Overwatch said no, it's impossible. And all of a sudden, it's possible? That makes no sense. Sorry. Oh, Sorry, I got in the way. <laughs> Again, I'm glad they talked about that first. Hello, everyone. I'll be your guide for today. Can you guys hear the presentation okay? Or do I need to turn it up a bit? And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch up. October 15th, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. All right. Are we gonna hear about town and bit? Oh. You gotta see these floors of the hotel for yourself. <sighs> okay, this three takes place so in the Bye. stuff they hotel, where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Case in point, tomb yes. suites. I mean, I a want, pyramid inside I a want hotel? to get more surprise. Guess we should expect some mummies. I mean, they Our said the Luigi's Mansion in the tweet, so I mean. Traps. Yeah, I know. As for the other floors, well, there's what the heck? Floor, a pirate themed oh. restaurant. You get the idea. Oh, Luigi looks beautiful in the, the graphics. Amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you, well, check out. Speaking of amenities, step right up to this new, new attraction, Screen Park. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. With only one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle it out. Oh. See which team can defeat the most ghosts. Mm. Collect the most coins by piloting what? floaties with the Poltergust G00 and break the most targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st. That is a must get Halloween. title of the first day for me. <gasps> get a load of this new Free to Start huh? Kirby game. Free to Start? Mm -hmm. forces of Kirby, oh, oh, that Kirby is Kirby, 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 Clash the What? We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Take oh! In town. Oh my God! You and your team will pick four They even made that for the switch. That's right. Get your weapons. Oh get my your fucking gear, God! And get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. Online? There are more than. I'm, I'm asking quests. for a lot. I know, but. So get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. You can play alone, together on one system. Team up via local wireless, or even play online. Online. It'll they be said online. Friends and players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches later today. And Bitch. Is free to start too. This long-awaited, recently released RPG is getting a remake. After 25 years. Fans of Yo, the it's time. series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. From six different characters, you'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you choose will determine which. It's, of the it's not Kirby's Air Ride, but I'll take it. Through this reimagined world. Now also, Trials of Mana. This is nice. What will happen to dear Jessica if I die? This interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, 
they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Step into the light, or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. Oh, really? Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Find out what's in store for the beloved world of Oh, that's a ways Man out. April 24th. Okay, that's fine. Just what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? The Oberdin vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, England, with no sign of survivors. This, uh, the fate of the crew remains unknown. Point and click adventure? As an insurance investigator for the East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. What? You bastard may take exactly what I give you! Explore the ship, observe the situation, and record your logical deductions. Without a... you, the true tale will never be told. Is this a murder mystery? What brought the Oberdin to such an end? Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Uh oh. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in fall 2019. There's a small town out there with a big town? secret. Never leave oh. town. That oh is the rule God. agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town. Little town hero? Protecting it. Is that is that the new name? One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster. So we're finally hearing more about this game. One boy named Axe will stand up to face it. Yeah, the Pokemon fans are upset because the ideas. game looks so beautiful and Sword and Shield but don't. To win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Tony Fox. Really? Little Town Hero will make a stand on wow. Nintendo Switch October Wow! That's 15th. cool! Wow, Toby's come a long way! The game later today. Oh. Fall is coming to Super I don't Smash care Brothers about Ultimate. you. Yeah, here we go. Alright. He, he's not- I, I guarantee he's not coming out today. We're probably just gonna get a release date. Yeah, release yeah. date. <laughs> and the release date is... Today. After today's Nintendo Direct, we'll broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the game's director, Masahiro Sakurai. As a special treat, the video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. Sorry. To well, tide yourself well, over. Well, they just shut me the Banjo fuck up. And Kazooie, please check it out. But first, but first what? You come out. <gasps> SNK or is is the SNK leak true? What? Mm. You're going all the way back? Mm? Super Nintendo. SNK. Oh, Neo Geo. Yep, here it comes. SNK. How people got so pissed about it. Eh? <laughs> all right, is it Terry? Wait. <laughs> They're all trying to grab it. That's funny. <laughs> all right. Get it. Geese? That was actually amazing. <laughs> that, that was a nice recreation. 
That's actually nicely made. It's, it's, either, it's either Keo or Terry. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's Terry! Hey, come on. That's cool! Okay, that is cool. Now in develop. Oh, no, no, nothing else after that? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Oh, November. November? Wait, two months? Really? Now in development, and it's gonna be done in November. So, Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. I'm actually okay with this. We've revealed four of the five fighters included in the Fighters Pass. Can there really be only one left? Huh? A special announcement. We're more DLC fighters! Of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Outside the five fighters included I in the knew Fighters it. Pass. We can confirm that other new fighters because are because that was the made because we actually yet. say that that would be more. There's still time. He still has a chance. So, what do you think regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment? We'll have more to share with you in the future. Wait. For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo. Oh, I was Switch about to say that can't be it, can it? Okay. It's about time to wake the Windfish in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. What else is there to talk about for this? The next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. I would get that. It's a You'll need some adorable. strangely endearing I mean, I will too. I'm just like, what else is there to talk about? It's a series of puzzling tasks. And encounter some oddly familiar faces. Is that Kirby? Whatever happens, help Link escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. With the all-new Chamber Dungeon, you can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. Add in plus effects that alter chambers. And oh. save chamber dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That way, your friends can play. Yeah, we're getting Kirby Super Clash. Be ready. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will launch before you know it on September I mean, it's 20th. Free. The new Link amiibo figure will be available that same day. You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now join his adventure. How many how many times are we gonna see this? Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. And experience new character-focused stories. The day the game launches, Free downloadable content can be found in the champion. I just actually um, including consumable items and more equipment downloaded that can change that. the appearance of party members. An RPG giant draws near. Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition journeys onto Nintendo Switch September 27th. I don't think so that they really Until add then, more fire emblem because they want to actually on concentrate on third parties. What? More fire emblem goodness? <laughs> then say hello to Tokyo. Are they actually bringing this to the Switch? The worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have no crossed. No way! Paths. I wanted this so bad. Switch. The story takes place in modern-day Tokyo, where creative energy is so abundant it's materialized into something called Performa, which attracts wicked mirages who suck it out of people. You'll face off against this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the internet. That's it. Business. That's it. The Wii U is officially obsolete. Some characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles. Like, uh, combat I, 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 I called it. I called it so bad. And in the Nintendo Switch version, what? there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Really? Be sure to check out the other new features oh, I love the new Tiki story in this elements game. to the She's characters so joining you in battle for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? What? 
Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore releases on January 17th. You can pre-purchase the game later today. Oh my god. Really? Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. Boston, 2019. It all begins again. Oh my god. An FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation. How many how many times did I say they need to bring Tokyo Mirage Sessions to the Switch? They ported every other Wii U game so far. Back to New Orleans 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise, boggles and beguiles on Nintendo Switch in 2020. And now for a shocker. What? The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. Oh. Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Check it out. Look wherever you want to be. Go lab online. Is this an MMO? I know the Wii U's been dead, but like the Wii U had games that people would still play because that was the only system you could play it on. This is insane. For a message from Bethesda. Doom? Hey Nintendo fans, Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. Doom? I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first person shooter huh? franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re releasing one of our favorite games. Doom 64. Really? For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. We live your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action packed levels. Or if you're <laughs> They're just bringing all the Doom titles to the Switch before um, shooter that Eternal comes out. The most popular shooter franchises in history. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Okay. Introducing a brand new IP from developer Hi Res Studios, Rogue Company. To most of a the new world, IP? Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety well, of all games. things considered, I know what we're streaming tomorrow. Whether you wield guns, gadgets, Cubby. or melee weapons, yes. your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. So is this a Switch exclusive or? How's it going? Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon oh. RPG series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Lights coming we have out. more information to share that will shed new light on this I mean, next So it was Dragon Quest, adventure. but they kept talking about that. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region. But at least with our trailer, it looks more and more beautiful. A future. Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. Okay. First, customizing your look. Oh, yay. Again, the latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. 
This time, it's God not bless. just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, including outerwear and gloves. Oh, nice. Oh, the stats looks beautiful. And? Plus, you can change Yo! your hairstyle. Okay, but can we change our skin color? Put on a little makeup. There's a lot more to becoming makeup? a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part too. I cut off. Don't 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 give us all these features and not Second, let us change our skin color. Pokemon camp. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. Wait, is that a shiny all creamy? While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. And as you get to know oh, them better, cute. they'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Oh, this glad a wall. One of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Now, nah, hold on. Skin color has to be a thing. Why would they take that out Third, when Korean every other Pokemon rice. since X and Y had it? Pokemon Camp is also oh, a great mean. place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on oh, rice. Oh, that's tasty. Hey, curry is kind of flames. Turns out, and what type it is ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients Oh, I you love use. this mini games. Not to mention the heart you put into it. Oh my god. There are more than 100 types. 100? And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal? To master the art of curry. Wait, what is that? Huh? What's that Pokemon doing here? And fourth, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the game. Who's that? First is Polti guys. Normally, it oh, no, Polti guys. By hiding amongst tableware at hotels and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. This ghost-type Pokemon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, another Ew. new Pokemon called Cramorant. Cramorant? This flying and water-type Pokemon has one huge appetite. Oh my God. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. When it uses surf or dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. Oh, it that is a state, nice. That's nice. cool. That, that's a, that's a nice touch. At the attack, uh, this, this is Kramer's nice exclusive detail. new ability, Gulp Missile. Gulp Missile. That's a nice touch. And that's all we have to share with you today. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch November 15th. Oh yeah, we already knew for the longest time. That it? Well, how about that? There are still two more months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Galar region. Right, right. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch Online memberships. Yeah. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. Past promotion. I wish you'd bring those vouchers back. Add in an additional library of games. I'm sorry? It's called Super Nintendo Entertainment System oh, Nintendo Mr. Switch S -N -E -S. Online. Oh, Mr. You can play a variety of classic Super NES games on Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Zero! Oh my god, people are upset. There are some you may not expect. Like Stunt Race FX, which will be available to play on another system. Hey, look, I'm Zero. Time. Are you people happy? <laughs> you can face off or team up in local multiplayer. Kirby's Avalanche? Joy-Con controller to no. a friend. <gasps> or even play Kirby doing it free! Oh wow, we, we've got a lot to do now. We can play Kirby's Dream Land 3. Oh my god, Kirby's Dream Land 3. It's half a bad ending, by the way. Here are the first games we plan to release. This is oh, and, and it's one of them. Past. Link to the Past? of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow, okay. All right. Of course. Oh, we'll Super Puyo Puyo 2, never mind. Right. I thought they were bringing in Kirby's Avalanche. This offer is exclusively available no, to Nintendo Switch joke. online no, members. So please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, you noticed this, did you? To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System that. Nintendo Switch <coughs> online exclusive <coughs> controller that. as a special offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch I Pro need Controller. That. This Super NES style controller $30? will be available for purchase exclusively that. for hey, Nintendo someone spot Switch me. online members. 
visit the Nintendo website for the latest information on its release. Wouldn't it be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers? Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh, oh, there's more. Okay. Surviving sure, you know Tetris, but can you survive this? Nintendo I love this game. The large scale As do I. battle game Tetris 99. I, I got yesterday first update. place. Tetris 99 Invictus is here and Invictus not apart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Master huh? status. Can you survive against the best of the Oh no 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 no. Oh hell. Well, good luck. No. We're also adding in daily missions for some added Ooh. challenges. By clearing these missions, <gasps> you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety That's of custom now you games. Feed. Sweet! Zelda? To showcase your Cubby? accomplishments, mm. we're tossing in a vast array of new player icons, mm. too. Beyond that, the second wave of paid DLC is mm. here as well. Oh my god. player share battle mode, pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two Why are people- why do you have to pay for this? You ...and get together with friends to battle via local wireless That's on your sad. Nintendo Switch systems in local arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. And y'all still don't have, like, friend lobbies? Game, DLC, and for people to make and join? Online, 12 -month individual yeah. Membership will be available September 6th. Civic game is awesome. This is a Mario and Sonic are ready to kick it old school in Tokyo. Like, that's such Mario a weird Sonic thing to do. The Olympic Games has become yeah. a tradition of its own. This time, there are more than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football, skateboarding, football, rugby sevens, sport climbing, badminton, gymnastics, surfing. You get? Are you getting you know that? What? I am. There's more where that came from. I don't know. Check out these 10 retro style events. Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. 1964? Oh my god, fourth wall. 2020 will go for the gold. Well, no, I'm getting the game because they're improving on stuff that I wish they did in the past Olympic Games, which is why I didn't get the next many of those. Machina demo will be here sooner than you think. Another demo? Ahead of the full game's release next week. The free demo version, Damon X Machina Prologue Demo, will be available for download later today. I had a feel. In this prologue, you'll man your mech through the beginning of the game. And all of your progress can carry over to the full game. Nice. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players. And we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. I, I like how they're showing the switch light. Friends and make the bosses feel like the little guys. Emotion. The full yeah. game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? Damon X Machina will be ready for action September 13th. That's yeah, next week. A Star Wars classic so fun, it's back for more. Kyle Katarn, agent of the New Republic, is our only hope to stop huh. a rogue Jedi. Get your lightsaber at the ready, blaster in hand. Actually, it's nice if that the Switch is bringing back really Courtesy old title. Uh, I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna boot up this. I'm gonna boot up the shuffle quick. Jedi I don't. They do it after this uh, presentation. I know. I'm just gonna. I'm just having it at the ready. Huh? We've got new details on some upcoming games. Here's where my journey begins. The Witcher? Geralt of Rivia, mercenary monster slayer. Your current contract? Tracking down a living weapon known as the Child Yo. of Prophecy. You'll have a whole world to explore. Woo. At home and on the go. When The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Nice. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Then transform into the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action-packed games for one great value. All past deals. Two games in one. New features like touch control and motion aiming coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch in Assassin's Creed: The Rebel Collection. Nice, nice. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go, 
or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options, and team up with other slayers to take down boss-sized behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the true crossplay Nintendo Switch, and there's plenty more on the horizon. Open your calendar. More games are really? on the way. More. Hi, Just Dance. Should I do a Just Dance stream? Nah, I can't get it because I keep it under me. It's a nice song, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm just saying, if y'all get a if y'all get a Switch Lite, like it's gonna be impossible to play Super Mario Party. So I'm just saying, like, options are gonna be a bit limited. Oh, I don't have my play. <laughs> oh, the worst one of the four or five. Everything going. Okay, that's kind of funny. Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. We what? Oh, Animal Crossing. Back in June, so we prepared a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a 2020 thing, though. Yeah, like many other titles. Okay, this is this is a nice surprise. Let's see. Uh, Animal Crossing. Promotional video just for you. It's called Welcome to Island Life. I love it. I love the graphics in this game. Can you imagine if they just pulled a complete 360 on us and just said Thank the game's coming out today? Deserted island getaway package. <laughs> of course that's not gonna happen. I'm just saying. Back, relaxing time and but look at this graphic. It, it, it looks amazing. For you and the other oh, folks so participating bad. in the getaway package, the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd yes. like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook Phone. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs. Hey guys, look, it's Pocket Camp within New Horizons. Let's start by oh. crafting an axe. I was joking. We're going to need some materials. Like branches. I was trying to joke, come on now. They're actually treating it like Pocket Camp. And stones. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Nicely done. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. Feel free to place furniture inside or That's outside. Nice. You can fine tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style and you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Yeah. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove as part of our island cleanup plan. Buying weeds? Can y'all imagine? In-game currency bells. You can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Hold on, island. is that a new phase? Go fishing? That's a new phase. Tend to flowers. And 
pick them to make a I like how the eyes are more animated than before. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, the eyes are definitely more animated than before. Have their uses. I can't wait. A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Wait, did you guys notice? Plant it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. The scenery changes with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Wow, details! Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch oh too. My God. Details! Even the clothes look good. The clothes are even different. Hmm. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously. Up to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. With a local wireless or internet connection, you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo? Yeah, there's definitely new hairstyles. And make it a lasting memory. Okay, that's cool. How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and Yo, more. Yo, Animal Crossing would be my game island. to stream weekly. Yeah. We can't wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. So, how'd it look? All right, that had to have been There's the last one. There's still a bit more time until the game launches. We have still so four, please stay four tuned. minutes. All right, the next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. Can I talk about Breath of the Wild 2? I believe so. No. Huh? Xenoblade? There's no way. But Xenoblade... Oh! Oh, 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 my God. Do you wish to change it? Huh? Did we remaster that? Yeah, 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 he's looking like he did in Xenoblade 2. The future. It got a different mood. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, he's screaming. I really don't need my 3DS version anymore now. <laughs> 2020. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles so, Definitive Edition. The game is planned for release in 2020. So what's so definitive about it? Forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. You got stuff that you really can look forward. Stay tuned oh, for a video. Up. For uh, oh, so so they're just gonna keep it going. Oh. Okay. Hello, everyone. I really don't want to watch director that. Director of the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Game. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about Hero. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. Switch, 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 switch. What are you doing? Kirby, 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 Kirby. Wait, wait, lady? Are you okay? Yeah. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. This only two days after that broadcast. We sure are busy, even if I say so myself. Now that today's Nintendo oh shoot, I switch it. One out of Kirby. Kirby. 
Give me, give me. Ah. All right, let's oh, see Banjo. I don't care. I need this Kirby. This. I know. I, I needed. I need Kirby too, but we, we've got time. No. Forget it. For fuck it. Using their shields. So in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. set up side by side. But back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. Try doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. So, even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this now. Is it there? Is it there? This time around, I'll also Very innovative, best to control two Mr. Sakurai. No, it's not, kind of like it's not Banjo there. Two characters acting as one. Uh, Alright, let's get started. So, what is Banjo Kazooie? What is Banjo? Well, in terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was first released on Nintendo 64 back in 1998. The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, Banjo Kazooie was released, and then Banjo 2. Two titles were then released for Game Boy Advance, although they never came to Japan. And then there's Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which was released on Xbox 360. As some of you may know, the Banjo Kazooie idea yeah. now belongs it's to Microsoft. Oh. Yeah, I'm excited to see how Terry's gonna play. I actually like King of Fighters. Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Brothers series. For that, well, I can end by Twitch chat. Open arms. Nothing is sorry for me. Where the fuck so, are if you want to play Banjo Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> the original game can be played on Xbox. Xbox. Broadcast, but please give the game a try on Xbox. <laughs> oh god, let's talk about the music. The Banjo Kazooie series music has a country feel to it. You can hear them laughing in the background. I, I love how down to earth Sakurai is. Well, Sakurai and his team. So we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. Up here. Yes, here. <laughs> You'll see the track names. Okay. Nah, he's he's nah he's not gonna play like Ryu. I guarantee. Like, as someone who's played both Street Fighter and King of Fighters, they are drastically different. Wait. So this Three? is Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash oh. Bros. Ultimate. There's Kazooie. We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. We've included lots of actions Banjo and Kazooie use in their original game. For example, Look at those Jinjos. The That's what they're called, Jinjos, right? Their dash. And their jumps are based on abilities like flap flip and feathery flap. Their neutral attack is called claw swipe. This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we've built upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. <laughs> their flurry attack is a ratatat rap. Oh. So their dash attack blurry. is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. This move is a pretty useful one. Hey, look at those collectibles in the background! Their is their up oh, okay. Okay, so when Banjo and Kazooie were first revealed, I wondered how, like, like, the way that the stage is laid out, like, I wondered how that was going to function in the actual game, but I get it. Like, the, the plane is still the same, but the background rotates. I what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazooie is, so this basically means bird bash, which is pretty Back to drawing. Their neutral air is wing whack. Their back air is an air ratatat rap, which hits three times. Their down air is beak buster, which they use to downstab as they drop. It doesn't look like it has a meteor effect. As you can see, even their regular attacks are based on attacks from their original game. The down air <laughs> up was something that existed in the Banjo-Kazooie series too. 
The Uptown is based on an animation from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, where Banjo sometimes stretches. Now I'd like to go over their special moves. First, their neutral special is egg firing. It's pretty much their go-to move. The eggs bounce. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack you see here. Brigal Blaster. Brigal Blaster is based on this part in Banjo Tui where the screen mimics an FPS. Hmm. You can hold the button for auto fire, but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually decrease, so you'll need to be careful. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield button. Next, their side special is Wonder Wing. As in their original game, it's an invincible charging attack. Oh, cool! It's fairly powerful and will basically win against any other attack. However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. There are five of them in total, and I just use up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until you lose a stock. Ah. Since the remaining uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. You can use it as a recovery option, and since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages, but it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. Ah. In addition, you can be grabbed during this move. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses. Okay, so it's not busted. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. Next is their up special, Shock Spring Jump. This move utilizes the Shock Spring Pad from their original game. It doesn't look like it goes very high. A few things to note. First, you can hit your opponents with the Shock Spring Pad. It can be used to recover, and it's throwable too. Also, it's pretty different from other up specials that carry the fighter upward, in that uh -huh. you're still able to jump in midair after using it, meaning really? you can jump twice in a row. So if okay, that makes up for it. Use it like this: jump and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. By the way. The height of a shock spring jump will change depending on how long you hold the button down. Oh. Okay. Note the slight difference in height. Next, for their down special, Rear Egg, they'll fire a grenade out of his backpack. It's a grenade egg. This is a slightly odd projectile in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. And because the grenade egg is football shaped, its bouncy trajectory can be unpredictable. <laughs> After That's a certain funny. time, it will explode. I think it will be a useful tool for keeping opponents in check. It's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. But don't hold it too long, right? Your opponents can also throw it back at you. But its detonation sequence is relatively short. Yeah, okay. So both you and your opponents will need to make sure you throw it quickly or it will explode while you're still holding it. I guess there are a lot of different ways to use this ability. Cool. Lastly, their final smash is the Mighty Ginginator. <laughs> the Mighty, the mighty Ginginator is what delivered the final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. This move will send your opponents flying. Ooh, sorry, sorry for yawning. Hope everyone's been enjoying the presentation this though. Called Kuru Kuru Yama in Japan, as well as the stream. But in the west, it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. A rotation icon will appear, and the stage will spin. This is quite unusual. <laughs> that looks so weird from that perspective. It's truly unique. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also change. 
Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Gluntilda's lair is visible. What do you guys think? Will the stage be legal? Now that we've covered both the fighter and the stage, let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles. This time, I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters in a team battle. <laughs> Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on, so there are actually two on my side too? So I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad if I just stand around, so I'll play carefully. I should probably keep them in check. Your eggs, which can be fired forward or backward, are useful at times like this, and thanks to Kazooie... Yeah, Kazooie Banjo's down B seems to be pretty good in a, uh, in a we'll make good free for these as we take them on. Ugh, my gosh, my PC crashed again. Oh. No, we're playing with items on. Hmm, I think we're doing pretty good so far. I have two opponents, and since items are on, right, they'll e have shot. twice as many opportunities to pick up items. It's down? And since the final smash meter is on, I'm, I'm the opponent can use it twice. Because it was not rare, so I checked. I'm at quite a disadvantage, okay, but yeah, I'm nothing, going to try nothing yet. I can use Wonder Ring two more times. Oops, I guess I should be explaining all their moves, huh? Auto fire, auto fire. Ooh. I guess we're doing it after oh, the I stop. Up. Yeah. You can have that. Now. And nice. Oh. Now that there's one less opponent, this should be easier. I do want to use a final smash, but it might be a bit tough. Oh, that's good. And really good. final smash. I forced him out, so I win. Game set. Banjo picks up a jiggy from the original game. Oh, wow. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> that's a wrap. So the victory theme is what we thought it would be. Cameos. I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos that liven up the stage. First, Gruntilda. we have the witch Gruntilda. In Banjo-Kazooie, this poor soul gets sealed underground by a boulder. Anyway, she's very cruel, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Gruntilda. Wait, Gruntilda has a sister? I never played Banjo-Kazooie, please don't be mad at me. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo-Tooie. He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. Next is Mumbo Jumbo. This poor soul had all of his Mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. He helps you out in many ways throughout the game. And we have Tootie. Can you spot her? Where's She's she? running at the bottom. Oh. She's tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the detail, even at her size. Huh. You could probably make an action game just using this. The detail's even nice. She's raising havoc on the vegetable patch for some reason. <laughs> and after that, she strikes an enigmatic taunt. Now she's heading back home. She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand how miserable she really is if you saw the game over scene in Banjo Kazooie. Oh, oh yeah. Maybe she's not going home? And here come the Jinjos. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Jinjinator appeared. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So you could say they're also sad souls. And now we see something floating around in the background. These are our basic enemy characters called Buzz Bombs, but since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> this is what they look like close up. It's basically a dragonfly, right? 
We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard to see areas. So I hope you enjoy it. Oh boy, here come the songs. Next, let's talk music. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country style music and adapting it for use in battle. We're including a total of 10 music tracks. <laughs> of these, seven are entirely new arrangements. Okay. I've always the original value. Getting all this for $5.99 is a fantastic deal. So, I hope you enjoy it. The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged like by Ray Kirkle. The season pass. He created the original Banjo Kazooie's music. I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, but he did an absolutely wonderful job. And here's the list of tracks this time. Each of the new tracks has been carefully tailored to match the action taking place on screen. Wait, more stuff? Inside the launch of Banjo and Kazooie, there will also be a software mm -hmm. update. Another software update. What else are they adding? We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will pretty much be our final new mode. Oh, please be Smash Run! Play, so please take a look. Please be Smash Run! And you mean the Fluidia's version? Never mind. You need to damage the sandbag in front of you as much as possible. <laughs> and with Home run bat, contest is back. Not with this, but this bat. Oh my god, the Yo. camera angles! Yo! Maybe a little too high. And so, Home Run Contest makes its return. It's been powered up in various ways compared to previous Home Run Contests, so please enjoy. <laughs> this time, Sandback has flown 300 kilometers. I think that's about the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the Tomei Expressway. <laughs> you can actually play with a second player. Let's give it a go. Attack, attack, keep attacking using both players. Time to strike. Here we go. No. This isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together, and not one person playing as two fighters. <laughs> I hope you play this with your friends. Okay. Wait, move customization. In shared content, many people have uploaded their customized knee fighters. Up until now, it may have been a little difficult to use since you were not able to customize their special moves. But moving forward, you will be able to freely customize their special moves. If you find a Mii Fighter that you like the look of, you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want and play as them. Okay. However, this will not be applied to Mii Fighters created before this software update, and only applies to Mii Fighters created after the update. So I hope you re-upload your Mii Fighters. Please enjoy many different varieties of Mii Fighters. We will add in some Mii Fighter costumes as well. Please take a look. More costumes? All right, let's see. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be Banjo Kazooie related, isn't it? Show us Grinzelda. Going on? Huh, oh, okay, I'm down with it. Wait, what? Proto Man, okay, that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> oh. Okay. I mean, that's cool. Pokemon. 
Oh, wow. Team Rocket. No! Huh? <laughs> what happened? What happened? They added a Mii Fighter costume for Sans. You. That's insane! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> We've added a costume for Sans from Undertale. It was a popular request. That's nuts. And this Sans outfit also comes with a music track. This will be listed in the other category, so you can check it out there. The arrangement was made by none other than the creator of Undertale himself, Toby Fox. Toby has actually visited my house, and we played. I don't know if I'm gonna get the costume. Together. So. He was actually really good. Of all the guests, I don't think I bought any of the costumes really. When we both chose random and played, the win I mean, ratio was about not. half and half. Or I may have been losing. <laughs> Next, I'd like to talk about a new set of amiibo that will soon be available. Or amiibo? Squirtle. Oh, Squirtle. Ibisaur. Wait, they're separate? And Snake. Oh. I wonder why he was hiding. <laughs> they will each be available on September 20th. The software update, including the Banjo and Kazooie DLC, will be available today. It's part of Challenger Pack 4. Wait. <laughs> As mentioned in Nintendo Direct, Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Do we get a video? Although we showed the reveal trailer, there video was hardly what? in game footage. Terry. Some of you may wonder You're not what in game footage is. is. Well, it's shaping up nicely. But we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? <sighs> I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Okay, here, you go. here we go. Let's see Terry, please. Bat and knuckle! Crack shoot! Oh, oh, power wave. Oh, well, there's burning knuckle, okay. That's it! Finally, it was announced that we will be working on even more DLC fighters. To me, it feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. You may wonder, how much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? But I'm also excited. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. At the same time, I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is yeah, not I know, I know it was a King of Fighters 14 stage. ...in game world, that it's become an enormous game. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. <laughs> so, I want to keep improving on this record as much as possible. And I will continue to work hard at developing the game. I, I still want a King of Fighters game that looks like 13 but plays like 14. That's it for today. Thank you very much. I mean, that, that's just me. I think King of Fighters 13 was one of the best looking ones. Well, okay then. <laughs> I was I, I was pretty pleased with this. It's over, by the way. Uh, what?
they're, they're still alive. They're... I mean, I, I know this isn't like E3. Of course, they're not going to show anything afterwards. Sans is in Smash. Like, I, I know, I know some, I know some friends of mine are freaking out. You know what? Actually, hold on. I want to see something real quick. I, I doubt... It's out! It's out! It's out! It's out! It's out! Wow, they were right on it. It's oh. out! It's out! It's out! Oh, okay, lady. Oh my fucking god, it's out! Okay, lady, I'm downloading it. <laughs> 